Hi, I'm Dan Gramza, coming to you from the San Francisco Money Show, and today I have with me Tim Plain. Tim, we were talking before about unusual things coming up, things changes in the marketplace. Uh, give us some of your insights. Okay, my so focus is on high yield dividend paying stocks. Okay. And we've kind of had a thing over since, really since the 1st of August, the energy infrastructure. Uh, midstream, uh, MLPs, although they're not all MLPs anymore, but the whole group has, has literally crashed. Like 30, 40% down in the last two weeks. And you know, if you own something and a price drops a lot, your question is, should I sell it? Is it is it going to crash worse? Right. You know, but in the income stock world, like hopefully my subscribers first question is, should I buy more? <laughs> because we want to earn more income. But you know, uh, so I, I talked quite a bit today about how to analyze, you know, whether a stock you should buy more whether the dividend is actually in trouble you know and uh, um, and it's in the in the high yield world of traditional stock market metrics often don't work because uh, you're, you need to look at free cash flow and what they do with the free cash flow and how they grow free cash flow but it's just a tremendous uh, interesting thing and I just had lunch with a guy who runs a MLP ETF so we were talking about whether this felt like the bottom or not in, yeah. in the ATF when he was just in an MLP conference last week he said the management teams are all very confident in their businesses so. but another part I did and I just kind of thought this up as I was putting this together what are the reasons stock prices go down one that they're all going down we have a bear market or a correction correct two that a specific sector is going down that for you know energy this year people hate energy um, three is this uh, Wall Street analyst puts out a sell recommendation on it. Fourth one is there are just rumors about a stock, right? And they go down. And like the fifth one is that something actually bad is happening in the company. But like four out of five reasons stocks go down really have nothing to do with the company itself. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and you got to be able to learn how to separate that or, you know, like I subscribe to a service like mine. Uh, one thing I do, do I I answer emails on all my subscribers. Oh, that's true. Yeah, anybody who writes me sometimes are really short answers. Like, but you know, it's wonderful that you provide that as a resource. Yeah. Because someone that has that question, mm -hmm. that maybe needs that short answer, but it adds the piece to the puzzle that well, maybe they need to have that confidence yeah, to do and, something. Yeah, and people don't know what they're buying. Mm -hmm. they, you know, I, at the last Money Show, I did a master's class mm -hmm. that talked about all the different types of income vehicles. You know, common shares, preferred shares, pass-through vehicles, uh, ETFs, closed-in funds. You know, people, you know, closed-in funds, what a weird world. When people buy that, they see a yield, they see monthly dividends, they have no idea what's inside that fund. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's very true. Yeah, and, uh, and people just... I, I love educating people about this kind of stuff. It's a lot of fun, and hopefully some of them get help. Yeah, well, I'm sure they do. Well, I, 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 get, I get it pretty regularly at, at shows like this. I've had people come up to me and said, thank you, you've changed my life. Excellent. That's what I want to hear. You know, that's very true. I think that's what gives us that sense of completion in yes, sense. yes. And what is the motivation behind sharing ideas yes. but to hopefully help somebody else yes and, and, and you journey. try very hard to put excellent information out there but you don't know if they read it well that's true it's up to them well if somebody wants more information about what you do provide okay tell well, them the easiest how to contact way is, um, my my main newsletter is called The Dividend Hunter, and if you just go to DividendHunter.com, that'll take you to all the information to learn about it and get signed up. Uh, it's $49 for the first year, and money-back guarantee, so it's riskless. Yeah, that's a good trade. It is. Well, Tim, thank you so much well, for being with us today. I really, I, too, I enjoyed that as well. And I hope you enjoyed it. Yes. Thank you for viewing this. I'm Dan Gramza coming to you from the San Francisco Money Show.